Report, brought to you with the compliments of Signia Financial Group Incorporated. Quality solutions for your financial needs. With some hard work, wisdom and determination, two sisters have been able to successfully grow the business that their father started 16 years ago. Ryan Broom has more about the auto rescue story. Zoe and Kelly Grant are the owners of Auto Rescue, which has established itself as an important service provider over the years. Managing Director Zoe Grant recalled the reason their father started the business. This is basically because he saw the need for ladies especially to have assistance on the road, say if they run out of fuel or have a flat tire. We did have an automotive garage and one of the customers one day had a flat tire and she called him and he left and when it assisted her and it dawned on him, you know, women out there do need, he was really thinking about the women, they do need assistance, maybe this is something that we could get into. So the internet there, he went and researched it and whatnot, and realized we didn't have a service like that here. She says the company started by trying to sell its services directly to individuals, but eventually approached local insurance companies who saw the need to use it as a value added service. Zoe adds that the fact some insurance companies now offer similar services has not affected their core operation. Really what we do, we provide a different service to what the in-house insurance companies do provide. We first of all, we focus on customer service. So um, we're 24 hours, we do not miss a call, we respond to each and every person. We have a time frame in which we respond. Um, we do not have a limitation on the amount of tools we provide to a customer. So it's not the instance, say, you're only entitled to two tools a year or one breakdown tool or one um, breakdown assistance. We come to you unlimited amount of times during the year. Meanwhile, operations manager Kelly Grant says the range of services they offer has increased and diversified over the years. Flat tires, jump starts. We have our own tow truck. So that when... Um, that covers our breakdowns and our accident tolls. Um, we do lockout service. She says they also provide a home rescue service. Same as if you get into an accident and you claim, if your home is insured with a particular um, insurance provider, if you have flooding or fire or you're burglarized, you can call us. We come out to you, we do the claims process. Well, not the claims process, we take the pictures, complete the form for you, send that in, and if there's anything immediately that needs to be done like a window that's broken it just needs to be shut up or whatever secured we do that for you as well and with regard to vehicular accidents she says there was a definite trend in previous years but that has changed significantly in more recent times in past years we found a pattern of behavior on the road but quite recently like from the middle of last year it doesn't seem to follow that pattern anymore. We would notice, well, we would have a lot of accidents, say, around Christmas or crop over, or at the beginning of any school term. But now it seems to be so frequent that it's just going on consistently. There's no up and down. The uh, level of accidents is just all high all the time. And as for most businesses, working capital is important. Zoe says that's where the Signia Financial Group therefore played a key role when they wanted to move from subcontracting record trucks to acquiring a truck of their own. As you can imagine, that ran up into thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, the people breaking down every day, accidents having to be towed, and you know it was really, it was really a, a heavy burden on us. So we thought, we sat down and we talked about it, we looked at the, the numbers and we realized we needed to purchase a truck. Um, we spoke to Miss Aisha Maycock at Signia. She was very willing, very, very cooperative and went ahead and we, and, and financed us with the um, purchase of the truck. It has saved us thousands of dollars. And as for expansion of the business, Kelly says they currently provide services for Bryden's Insurance, Caribbean Alliance, Mass United, and Guardian General. She says thanks to those companies, they have been able to widen their operations to Antigua and Grenada. It has also resulted in an increase in the company's overall staff count to 15. Some of the companies that we're with here are also in Antigua and Grenada and they asked us to provide the service for them over there as well, which would then um, increase their client base. 
people in the other islands have heard um, about the auto rescue service or you know being here seeing it on the road and whatnot went back asked the insurance companies about providing the service for them and um, we moved down there and opened up a business a company down there in each jurist in Antigua and Grenada to assist the insurance companies that we're with here in increasing their client base now to get in contact with auto rescue you can call 426-9500 Find them on Facebook or download the Auto Rescue app to your mobile phone or device from the Google Play Store or iStore. Ryan Broom for the Business Report. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Cable and Wireless Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 846,412 units followed by JMMB Group Limited and the Jamaica Stock Exchange. In Trinidad, Scotia Investments Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 21,885 shares valued at $54,712.50 followed by Grace Kennedy Limited and JMMB Group Limited. And in Barbados, Sagicor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader trading 4,167 shares at $2.47 each followed by Cave Shepherd and Company Limited. Say